what is the first thing that comes in your mind when you hear the word application? Uh, um, cell phone applications like games. Um, Definitely apps in your mobile mobile phones. Facebook. Um, for me, anything that uh, you put into okay. use. Social media. Um, math. Pwede yung mga games ko or mga apps. Pwede yung games or social media. When you hear the word application, um, the first thing that comes into my mind, let's say for example a student that's applying a theory or a concept that was taught by a certain teacher. That's what I think is application. Something you applied and what you learned in your experience. What about the word text? Something. I do to my friend. Connecting with your friends. Communication. Uh, a way of communicating in digital form. Phone. Uh, load. Load. Messages. Ginagamit natin ng una. Cell phones. What about call? A call. Call is uh, using my phone. Hearing voice. Communication then. Person to person. Communication. My mom. My mother. Contact. We need to download the telephone. Telephone, actually. What about the word connection? Internet. The way you communicate. You use the application to connect to other people. Internet connection. Family. Smart. Internet. Wi-Fi. Could be... Well, the first thing that popped into my mind was Wi-Fi connection, actually. Technology can help to limit obstacles that people previously faced in the past, and it reduces the time it takes for people to send a message to another person by allowing them to stay in contact with ease. Today, people can choose to communicate with each other using a variety of different tools including traditional mail, telephone, text messaging, or email. Decades ago, people have to take more time and spend more money to be able to communicate with each other. For example, to send a letter to someone, the only option was to do so via traditional snail mail. Now, letters can be sent instantly via electronic mail. Moreover, in the past, people would have to take time out of their day and travel to see a person in order to have a face-to-face -face conversation. Over the years, Technology has significantly improved our means of communication. Undeniably, technology is great at assisting us with communicating with each other. However, there are some negative impacts that have changed human behavior over the years. One negative impact is that people are not used to talking to each other face-to-face -face, which could hinder their ability to hold conversations without the use of technology. For example, some people may still be accustomed to having written conversations that they do not have the necessary skills to hold a verbal conversation. In addition, the concept of hiding behind technology has increased the amount of cyberbullying, especially amongst children and young adults. It can allow as well for deception to exist more easily in the world as people find it easier to buy or deceive each other virtually rather than when they are face to face. There are plenty of ways that globalization through technology has changed the communication behavior of humans both in a positive and a negative manner. With the proliferation of new communication, people are said to be able to maintain many more relationships now than they could in the past, and the costs of communicating have greatly reduced. However, if the implication of that is a decrease in the depth of interpersonal connection, can we still say that we are more connected than ever? Or is it the other way around?